I think Teams and Klaxon are two of my favorite go-to tools to, uh, to make my life easier and more playful as well, because uh, I like things when they are easy. Obviously, we were, we were hit by the, the pandemic as everyone else, and there was a drastic shift uh, of the organization towards digital in everything and digital learning in particular. And first of all, where we really, really put our emphasis was to curate the right content for mm -hmm. our employees. And there was also a huge um, effort on capability building of uh, our people around the world who were um, facilitating face-to-face -face sessions and had to uh, move from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual. So we did a lot of uh, live session around it, uh, trainings and uh, materials available uh, to, to our people, whether it was e-learning, whether it was uh, capsules from Klaxoon or missions in order to, to mm. make sure that people were building this, this capacity so that we, we don't just uh, lift and shift, but we also take advantage of the digital um, aspect of things to, to think it differently and, and make it even more sticky. Here you can see the number of activities creating on Klaxoon in Schneider Electric since the beginning of the year. So, And we have passed the 10,000, by the way, since I, I took that screenshot. If you take uh, 500 activities and you multiply that by uh, either uh, the cost of a articulate license or, or the cost of a, a vendor uh, that would develop an e-learning, and you multiply it by uh, the, the average cost of that number, you arrive at around 1.2 million euros. Uh, that would have cost the organization to go and buy those licenses or uh, to go for a, a vendor. So it's it's pretty dramatic where uh, I won't uh, go into the commercials of Laxoon, but for us, the, the, the ROI is pretty is pretty obvious, right? We've actually used the uh, uh, Teams and, uh, and, and Klaxoon here. This is my, uh, my, my Microsoft Teams for uh, Schneider Essentials, which is the compliance training of Schneider Electric. And uh, here you can see my feed uh, since we started the project last year. Uh, so I use it uh, to like uh, sometimes do a little bit of an icebreaker at the beginning of the training or, or the, the meetings or stuff like that. But more so I use it for uh, our Starfish retrospective uh, training. For those of you who are not familiar with it, this is the, the way in the Agile methodology where after each sprint, so each delivery of a, a certain backlog of tasks, you, you look at what you want to do less, more, uh, improve or, or, or stop. Uh, and this is a super effective way for me to, to do it uh, and also to do it um, again synchronously during the meeting or asynchronously in case uh, not everybody is, uh, is there uh, to uh, uh, during the meeting so that that's one way that that we have done it and and it it, it works like a charm to me and this time uh, i think teams and klaxoon are two of my favorite go-to tools to uh, to make my life easier and more playful as well because there's a lot of uh, um uh, like a uh, uh, almost a childish element in it in a good way which is uh, is so it, it's idiot proof i i, I want to say which is great because uh, i like things when they are easy <laughs>